uh, my speech today will cover an important issue in shaping rural policies in China. I'll talk about new mechanisms of local governance in China, which administration is considered as a cornerstone with respect to town governance. So, town governance and village administration are an essential characteristics of China rural policies. My reference book is written by Fan Yong uh, Wang Yuming, uh, Hu Yong Kao, and uh, Yu Ji. The title of the book Chinese Agriculture and Rural Development in the uh, Post Reform Era. There are a significant number of measures uh, enforced by Chinese government in order to create uh, synergy in rural areas. These are, firstly, the village committee organization law established uh, and enacted in 1998. According to the, this law, village committee is the primary autonomous uh, mass organization and it is operated under the guidance of the town and assist uh, the town government. Second, a village committee plays a significant role in rural autonomy. Uh, the villagers uh, manage uh, their own affairs, educate themselves and serve their own needs. So, the responsibilities and uh, work procedures of Chinese Communist Party are clearly defined almost in village, all villages uh, and there is a perfect relationship in different bodies, uh, both in village and towns. Third, China tries a new mechanisms of rural governance in the construction of a new countryside. Uh, such as rural vitalization, a town should transfer its operative community and social services to non-government agencies. Fourth, support and incentives should be given to boost the development of rural service organizations. One of the important points stress uh, here is that rural social service organizations in China remained underdeveloped. The villagers have limited opportunities to voice their opinions. Only just small part of people who are associated uh, with Chinese Communist Party can say their opinions. In the less developed areas, an important point is that village enterprises of rural areas are considered as an essential point to develop a perfect market organizations uh, and conditions in the villages. Chinese government uh, thus aims to make villagers to realize uh, self-management, self-education and self-service. The more the rural areas are industrialized, the more they are involved uh, in policies to secure their interests and hedge markets against uh, the risk. In conclusion, uh, when we look at uh, some developing countries, we see that uh, they are demolishing uh, or wiping out all the existing institutions which is which related with the villages and rural areas uh, due to the rapid urbanization. But we cannot see the same things in China. China gives an utter importance for the development of villages and rural areas. And also they are encouraging uh, the industrialists uh, to develop, uh, to make some investment in rural areas, uh, in the areas of digitalization and uh, also make the uh, agriculture more industrialized.